Hi, what is the difference between seizures and epilepsy? Are they the same or they are different? And if I, if you have seizures, are you having epilepsy? A seizure is when there is an abnormal electrical activity in the brain leading to abnormal movement like shaking or falling down or sometimes will have an experience. So some people will have numbness, tingling in one side of the body or shaking in one side of the body, seeing stars, feeling anxiety or fear, having even good there are so many different types of seizures and all depends on which area of the brain that is involved. It's kind of like turning on a switch and whatever the area of the brain is doing, it will manifest as the seizure. And seizures actually are common. It happens like one in 10 people will have a seizure once in their lifetime. And that is not necessarily a diagnosis of epilepsy. I know some patients will tell me that, oh, I only have uh, seizures. And in fact, they might have epilepsy. It's kind of like there is some confusion on that concept. Seizures can be provoked means that there is a stress on the brain that can induce the seizure and a seizure would be a symptom of that stressor on the brain or that condition. So for example, if somebody was taking drugs, they might have a seizure as a consequence or they were drinking regularly, all of a sudden they will stop drinking and they will have a withdrawal seizure or they were uh, hit on the brain or on the head or there is some trauma involved. All of those can cause seizures as a manifestation of that stress on the brain and they called provoked seizures, I mean, it's something bring the seizures up. And though this does not fit the criteria or is considered epilepsy. So epilepsy on the other hand is that if we have two or more unprovoked seizures that are spontaneous, they happen without any obvious provoking factor. So this means that the brain itself is capable of generating seizures without any obvious trigger. And if we have two or more seizures, we can make the diagnosis of epilepsy. And now we can even have one seizure and make the diagnosis of epilepsy if we have abnormal testing, like the EEG comes back abnormal or the MRI shows something, all of them are consistent with epilepsy activity or epilepsy diagnosis. Diagnosis. And sometimes if we have an epilepsy syndrome, we can make the diagnosis of epilepsy confidently. So epilepsy is when you have spontaneous seizures without any trigger. And epilepsy happens in about 1-2% to in the general population. So it is not rare to have epilepsy. So like if you go to a stadium in a football day game, yeah, 50,000 of people are in the stadium. 1-2% to is like anywhere between 500 to 1,000 people are cheering in the stadium with epilepsy. So it is very common but people don't talk about it a lot. So you, most of the time you don't know that they have epilepsy, but it is there a lot. So it is important to remember that epilepsy is a clinical diagnosis, means that it is based on the description of the event, how the patient had the event and the seizure, and the clinical evaluation of the clinician and the neurologist. The testing like EEG and MRI can support the diagnosis of epilepsy, but it is not necessary to make the diagnosis. So we can have epilepsy with a completely normal EEG EEG and MRI and all the testing can be normal and you still have epilepsy. Actually, this happens a lot, even like more than half of the time. How we can treat seizures and epilepsy? First, if the seizures were provoked, as simple as stopping the provoking and offending factor can stop those seizures from happening, like quitting alcohol or stop taking drugs. But if you have epilepsy, then you need medication and treatment to stop the seizures from happening again and to basically treat the epilepsy. And luckily, most of the time, the seizure will respond to medications about 50 to 70% of the time. And sometimes we have seizures that are stubborn to treatment and they call drug resistant epilepsy and you might need some surgical treatment to cure them. And to learn a lot about how we can make the diagnosis and treat epilepsy, you can see this video for all of those details and stay healthy and see you in the next one. Salam.